Hi guys, how you doing? So today we're going to take a look at the Asus ROG Strix 3060 12GB graphics card. Now on paper it's fantastic, um, it's equivalent to the 2080 from last generation, um, that retailed for about um, 8850 um, especially for the Strix. Um, I own one, it was lovely. Um, the 3060 has come out and it's not too bad to be perfectly honest. Now obviously it's a 60 generation card so with that you know you're not going to expect all the bells and whistles that you um, get with an 80 series um, but today we're going to have a look at it. Um, we're going to check out the thermals, noise, power supply requirements, um, obviously the FPS, um, yeah it's same as the 2080 but you know um, we'll kind of uh, look at things afresh. Um, you know it is expensive, but it's not expensive. Obviously, compared to last generation, you'll be paying about £800 for the card. The MRSP is about, I think, 450 500 quid. It's very difficult to kind of really kind of know what the market is at the moment with scalpers and availability and kind of retailers putting their prices up. I pay 555 quid from eBay sealed, um, which I thought was pretty decent. Um, so let's crack on and uh, see if it's a good buy. So after installing the graphics card, I normally download Armory Crate if I haven't already got it, um, and also NVIDIA Shadow Play. Now, Armory Crate is great for updating utilities. You can do the BIOS, um, you can control the RGB, um, and also if you've got a fan expert as well, you can control your case fans. It's really nice. It is a little bit buggy at times, um, but it's pretty decent. Um, the other thing is shadow play. Now this is where you can record your gameplay. It's fantastic, you can do a bit of streaming. Um, but primarily I use it to download the latest drivers. They come out about once a week. Um, so make sure you kind of got it to download, get them installed um, and you'll be well on your way.
So when it comes to noise and thermals, I think this card is fantastic. Um, I usually run things at 60% because I just kind of like, I don't like the ramping. Um, sometimes you get you know, a CPU or a GPU and it kind of, it's just on that kind of threshold um, for it to go up. It annoys me, so I usually stick to 60, 65%. Um, with the testing that I've done today, um, I've had 60% um, for the case fans, the AIO and the GPU, and it's really, really quiet. Um, obviously, if you kind of, um, you're happy with warmer temperatures, um, then kind of reduce the speed of the fans, um, and likewise, you can kind of go up. Um, when it gets to about 70%, yeah, it's pretty noisy. And what we've got now is we've got a couple of examples, one at 60%, one at 100%, um, hopefully it's kind of indicative of what you're going to hear. Obviously it depends on the volume of your, uh, your headphones and your phone and all of that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty noisy at hundred percent, but 6%, like I said, it, it's pretty decent. So let's have a little listen to that. So when it came to the temperatures, you know, I remember I'm running at 60%. Um, I was gaming for probably two or three hours on and off, um, but the maximum temperature I saw was 53 degrees. Now, I thought that was amazing, to be perfectly honest. Now, remember, this is not the kind of most power-hungry card or anything like that. Um, but yeah, 53 degrees, I thought it was really good. Obviously, when the kind of summer hits, that's going to go up 10 degrees quite easily because obviously it's going to be um, a higher ambient temperature. Um, but yeah, really impressed. So when it comes to build quality and design, I'm kind of, I'm lost for words in some respects. Now, I've owned a 1060, a 1070, a 2060, a 2060 Super, um, all the way up to a 2080 Ti. So I feel I'm quite experienced with their cards and, you know, they're a premium product. So you kind of expect them to be the best um, of the best. You know, there's the For the Win Free as well. I'm from EVGA, fantastic cards. Um, and then my go-tos. So when this came up, obviously I thought, yeah, brilliant, I'll get it. I didn't know too much about it, to be perfectly honest. I didn't know, I didn't look at any reviews or anything. Um, and out of the box, I was disappointed. You know, I just felt the card was quite lightweight. Um, it didn't necessarily kind of have that wow factor um, that you get. You know, if we were um, in 2060, um, going from a 1060 to a 2060, um, and this was the offering, I think, yeah, fantastic. But They've gone backwards um, for for this for a sixty card, in my opinion. Um, does it make it a bad card? Absolutely not. You know, obviously the performance is there, but from a build quality, obviously there's the GPU sag. Um, it's not good. It's indicative of, of a poor design, poor construction. Um, you know, you don't have to obviously live with that sag. You can um, build a brace, and I'll kind of put up an example of what I've done with Lego. Um, you can do whatever you want. You know, there's lots of options out there um, to kind of remedy it but it, it shouldn't be there really. Um, it should be built um, to a better standard. Um, I think the 3070, 3080 and all that would be better, but it's just, yeah, it's a poor showing to be perfectly honest. Um, from a design, um, I've warmed to it, you know. Um, when I first saw them, I was a bit, okay. You know, I really like the uh, the 20 series cars. They're, they're, they're pretty, you know, they're really nice looking. Um, these just, look a little bit cheap. There's a lot of plastic involved um, in this card. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of, I understand because obviously the MRSP being a lot lower um, than the last generation, but it's not the best, uh, really isn't. So just, just bear that in mind, if you're gonna buy this card, that the kind of the, the build quality, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot to be desired to be perfectly honest. So when it comes to PSU selection, I think you're probably gonna be all right with what you already have. Now, the recommendation from the ASUS website for my system is 550 watts uh, stock. If I'm gonna overclock, then 650. Um, but from my testing with a high refresh 1080p monitor, I only drew 351 watts. Um, so I would recommend on that basis um, that 500 watts for, for stock settings, if you're gonna overclock, then probably go to 600. Um, you probably can get away with a 450, um, but obviously there you might have problems. It all depends on your processor. Um, use the calculator, you know, make an informed decision, but ultimately it's not the hardest uh, graphics card to power. Guys, we're at the end of the video now. Um, I've owned the car for two weeks and I'm really impressed. You know, it's cool, it's quiet, performance is really good. 
Um, build quality, yeah, it's kind of, it's not the best, a bit plasticky, but you know, you get what you pay for. Now, with payment in mind, remember when you buy a card second hand, whether it's sealed or not, and it, um, unless it's from an actual recognized reseller, you do not get a warranty. So don't pay seven, 800 pounds for a card that is worth half that. It's not worth it. When there's a problem, you're gonna be crying twice. Um, just kind of pay a fair price. Hopefully the prices will come down. Everyone will be happy. Honestly, I can't see that happening in 2021, um, but we can, we can live in hope, can't we? Um, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.